Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be doing another Tekken 7 video, I know. Why the freak are you playing Tekken 7 still? I don't know. I don't know, random viewer, I'm sorry. But I will be getting Tekken 8 very soon. Just stop pointing that gun at me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Today I saw a video, and in the comments some dude was questioning how to play multiple characters. I was like, you know, I'm gonna also make a video like this to help any of you guys who are watching this video. I will be explaining what I'm gonna show to you guys, and then I will transition over to show you guys the actual similarities of this stuff. So, first off, transitioning from a character to other characters so then you can learn everyone around the map. I know almost everyone in here. The only characters that I don't know don't interest me, like Dragonov, Yoshimitsu, uh, Nina, I mean Kazumi, Lily, Asuka, and that's it. Everyone else I know to a degree, and I can pretty much reach Fujin with any of them. So, I will tell you guys the chronological order of how I played this game. So, I started out with Eddie, because he looked Looked similar to me. I even had my hair tied back in locks before I even played him, so I was like, I gotta play. Then eventually I realized, oh, Bruce looks pretty dope too and similar to me. And then I got really good with him, and eventually in Tekken 6 I reached Tekken God, and that was my favorite character of all time. And then in Tag 2, I decided I was going to try Bruce and Marduk. Then later it was Bruce and Dr. Busk. Ganovich or Basganovich. Then I also branched out by Lei. So I kind of have a curse of my characters never coming back into Tekken. It's okay because it actually taught me a valuable skill and that's trying different characters. Now my newest favorite character is Lucky Chloe. I know, weirdest character. But the reason why I enjoy her is because she's very fun and very interesting to have simple mix-ups that can be easily destroyed but you can resort to like generic tools to cover up for it or you can just rely on fun fundamentals really but then she's not in Tek Tekken 8 neither so I have to find another new main so I went on to Zhao Yu so I'm gonna be showing you guys how and why I branched out from these characters I basically branched out so then I was like never again Never again will my mains not be in the game so I'll be picking Kazuya first look at my Marduk outfit pretty dope if you ask me it looks so similar to him right no Okay, well, it's whatever. So, yeah, first off, we'll be getting out the way all his usual stuff, like his electrics and stuff. You guys have seen this. You guys have seen the god. So, I know you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'll be more so talking about just essentializing the characters into just what they do, what they get a lot of damage out of, and how they can consistently get the damage out of that stuff. So, my first game plan was this, obviously, right? So, it was using forward four a lot instead of a sweep and then going in for a sweep like this. Kazuya, he can get a lot of damage from just doing this mix-up alone, going for forward forward X, these types of mix-ups, very common. So what I would do was butter it up. Literally, I say this in my rank up video, I think, just buttering up the, the moves so then you can actually get them more consistently instead of blocked is very important to me. A lot of people disagree. I know a lot of people in uh, my Kazuya guide and various other too many guys disagree with my tactics using certain moves that people usually wouldn't use. But honestly, that's how you master them. Uh, if you can apply the right context to the moves that I show you guys, you can easily pull off a lot of stuff. Even the Gen 1, I, I have a few disagreeers for sure. They really disagree with just my general opinion of the game. But my base is a lay main, so I know I'm very mix-up based. So what you can get from me is probably something like a Kazuya player or Gen player probably would not. Like if that's their base character, they started off with that and they still main them. My opinions aren't gonna obviously align with theirs, alright? So like threatening them with grabs, strings, I'd say that's like 30% of the pressure with characters like these two. So you butter them up, then you're going for the big mix-up. Now Josie doesn't have a sweep, so what I had to do was substitute it for Bruce's wave dash kick, which is pretty much not as good as his, because I think with him he had like a really good uh, string to follow up with, and you could just intimidate them by wave dashing the clinch grab, and then just save the day at the end, and then just destroy it. That's how I played them, that's how I reached TG, theorizing and essentializing everything about the character and turning everything kind of into like an obstacle right kind of like how Michael Jordan turns the opposing basketball team players into obstacles I quite literally do that with Tekken not calling myself the Michael Jordan of Tekken okay but I'm saying the overall idea is relatively the same so Josie has a lot of strings right she has a mix-up out of it she also has really good moves like this I actually like this because you can turn this into a frame trap and it's a counter hit. Back two, you guys already know a counter hit. It's crazy. So 
I used to do this a lot. I stopped playing here a lot recently. That's why I didn't, I never made a guide on here. And like tactics do change. You guys might not know it, but some of these frame traps, they they used to work season one, you know? People can just adapt and then the meta changes all because everyone in the community adapted. Overall, very good character, but we'll be getting into the exact similarities and how I was able to transition my play style of Kazuya delay. I mean, my lay to Kazuya to Josie transition. So I would butter up moves like this, going for something like this. Boom, 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 enter stance, boom. Just mix up the timings with this stuff. Uh, also starting them with grabs, jab, grab. And then as soon as they start ducking because they're all highs, that's when you go for a mid and then you just launch them. That was also a really big game plan of mine. This is a tactic that I've done for many ages. This is something that works a lot. Just going for something that's somewhat small plus, and then you go into that. These are like universal tactics. I'm telling you, you can transition into so many characters using universal tactics. And I'm not talking about the movie studio, okay? I'm talking about just things that come with every character. Well, almost every character. Which is why I'm going to be getting into my new recent main for Tekken 8, which is Zhao Yu. I hope you guys understand what I'm telling, what I'm talking about here. I hope I'm not yapping to you guys. I, I hope you guys can actually understand what I'm saying and why using tools like these and transitioning like theories and stuff to other characters and applying them really do work. So as you guys know, big lay fan, I realized Zhao Yu is a bit more manual and she has way more setups, like so many because of the way that her moves, especially this, this really works like at wall if I launch right say like right here I can either go for four or I can go for which is a mid or I think and then I can go for Cali roll boom now there obviously there's better options but at a back turn right you can go for this uh, I think even this I'm gonna just stop getting into I'm gonna give you guys a two-minute Zhao guide for Tekken 7 you guys are probably gonna hate me but don't worry I'll be doing a uh, two-minute guides for Tekken 8 soon so yeah, overall, I transitioned my lay knowledge of him because, for example, his Razor Rush, he has a theory behind that. I call it a theory uh, where you change up timing and but you don't just spam that move out. You guys think when I give you guides, you just spam those moves out. Obviously, you butter it up with other things. That's how you that's how you win. I'm telling you. So, for example, I've used Instead of just constantly going to the back turn, I go for various other things like this, this, or I'll pause this and then enter back turn. Just butter up and try to create new ways to flowchart. Now, you guys are very against the word flowchart. If you go online, there's a lot of people who are very against just the term flowchart, but that's how you can ease your brain into actually observing the game and defending rather than worrying about what you gotta do. So, uh, that's why I always vouch for these types of things. Actually, that was pretty clean. <laughs> that was pretty clean, you guys gotta admit. Yeah, there's a lot of ways you can enter stance with these characters and you can still passively think about your character but not too much. Um, just know what strings you want to do and why you should do them. Uh, and then you can also focus on the other character and assess, okay, what's their moves? What's their, what are they about to do? Okay, can this setup work? Oh, they get up this way? Okay, let me do that. Because there's already too much to think about, right? So another character I'll be talking about here. Well, I've been getting into Bob, but I don't really know what I'm talking about, so I won't tell you guys. This guy's busted, okay. I'm not gonna say anything about him. Yeah, next character I'll be talking about is Gang Ryu. Now I know you guys are like, okay, hi. Why is there so many stance characters? That's because my base is like that. You guys have to branch out, so when I realized these characters were coming into the game, more stance characters, there were the more I realized, oh, I have to actually learn these characters. They, these guys seem dope. And like, for example, Gamry, I did not think he was dope until I realized how cool and powerful he is. Like, honestly, this dude might be top two. Like, he's bad range. Everything about him is pretty short, except for like moves like this or this. And that's because it's a forward, forward, one input. But like, look at this, right? Like, it's crazy. But overall, the whole idea here is to be, you can apply this to anything like a Mishima main. He might, no, perfect example. You guys watch Main Man Sui's Lay's Tekken God Run, right? That dude, 
he was playing him just like a Mishima and then he decided to say, oh, it doesn't take much, dude. You were relying on quite literally your Mishima skill. You were not playing how like a regular lay player would use lay because dude, you can play him. He has a sweep, he has strings. You can delay just like Kazuya. You can have combos. It's the exact same thing, only that lay doesn't have an electric so you've replaced it with other moves like forward forward X. That's it. So yes, you can play almost every character like a Mishima if your base is playing a Mishima character, right? So, yeah, enough rambling about that. That just gets on my nerves where I was like, what the freak? Yo, Adrian, come on, bro. Overall, I think, in my opinion, my base is Lei, so I decided to branch out stuff like this. So, for example, I usually apply things like a Razor Rush theory of, like, delaying or, like, mixing up timing of these strings and obviously going into a flow chart. These guys already know I'm gonna try to do this stuff, but they're like, when will he stop? Will I stop right here? Will I do this? Will I do this and then leave myself minus? But they're not prepared for it. So the mi me being minus probably is probably like me being minus two at a point because they don't know when I'm oppressed, when I'm not, but I do know when they are gonna try to interrupt. So then I go all the way through with this, or then I go like this, boom, boom. These moves look exactly the same. I mean, it's kind of obvious the more you look, but if I kept doing this and then eventually I go for this, you're getting counter hit because it's a pause, right? It's not like this exact timing. I know how to do this. I've landed this many times. Uh, very good move. Crazy power. No, p crazy counter hit launcher is very good. I suggest you guys try this character before you guys move on to Tekken 8. Overall, my entire advice is just try to apply your own base to these characters. Uh, I hope you guys understand this i also use setups this is like just how i do it with along with all the things that i said in this video i also used a lot of setups like for example this one i think i found this one on youtube i don't think i found this uh by myself i forgot who who i saw who made it but basically when you shoulder bump and they tech roll then they're done for because the timing and the distance allows Gamryu to realign and then he can just wall splat them and it's actually very good so it's all about focusing on your base and why you should try to stick to it if you're good with that character come up with different tactics around your base like for example a good one is the up forward four four cheese right with uh with kazuya these people people would never ever use this uh type of tactic because it's too it's too crazy, it's too um, out there of a tactic, so what they would do would be like, oh, I don't want to use that, that's for, like, that's the dumbest tactic ever. I've heard someone say that to me, I was literally face palming. I, I even told them I was face palming. No one expects this, right? You're minus one, okay. They're gonna duck because they're afraid of the mid. I mean, of the low that comes after, that can lead into a launcher. Overall, this move is like, really good for mix-ups when you add in fluff along with it like boom 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 they pause you go like that you still have pressure these guys are still afraid you're still going to be able to attack you rank up easy like this is so good and they are afraid because they see that the frame advantage says minus one or let me see when they block it's minus 12. These guys are still afraid. I'll do this even if I know they're gonna block. Cause they're afraid. As soon as I know that they start interrupting or trying to punish this, guess what I'm doing? I'm going all the way through. Cause you can't interrupt it. So it's quite literally one of Kazuya's best mix-ups and these people are afraid. So what I do is this sometimes, well sometimes this is like secret sauce right here. Sometimes these guys will crouch and then they'll stand back up. I headbutt. Pretty good. But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, have a wonderful day, afternoon, night, wherever you guys are. And I'm going to catch you guys later. Look at Kazuya. He's dancing. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.